Hey, what's up guys? Radku here, back with another Yu-Gi-Oh! deck profile. And today is the Full Power Dino deck. So, I told you guys I'd come back with this, and I finally did. But, a bunch of these are proxies, so just keep that in mind as the cards look terrible. Um, so, although my printer did break, so I was not able to finish the extra deck, just I'll pop the images up on screen when um, they come. But just know what I mean. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into it for True King Dinos. Starting things off, we're playing three copies of Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. This is a budget version, so you can buy your um, structure deck for $30 and then um, get most of the cards from here. Conductor Tyranno is like, g it's really good because you can destroy a baby in your hand. Oh god, that came out wrong. Um... You can pop one of the, um, the baby, uh, dinosaurs in your hand to, um, flip all your opponent's monsters face down, which is really good, but this is a going first deck, so you can set up, uh, UCT on your first turn after you finished your True King of All Calamities play, and, yeah, this card is really good, definite three of. You might want to bump it down to two in place for some better options, like Overtech Squatless, which I don't play in this deck. Two, er, three copies of Soul Eating Ovi Raptor, absolutely mandatory. It's definite for your combo play into your, um, your, whatchamacallit, your VFD. So you want to have this, and it's a great searcher, even if you just have it in your hand. You can search your Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. It's the only card in the deck that can search it, which is kind of weird, but it's a really good card. So, three copies of that. Three copies of Miscellaneousaurus. This is your protection. Uh, you can pop it down to protect your uh, field while you're doing your combos. Plus, at the end of your combo, um, after you've sent this to the graveyard for your first play, what you can do is you can banish this and then summon out your Tyranno Infinity, which I play one of. Um, which, I think Tyranno Infinity is way better than Giant Rex, but I don't know why people play Giant Rex. Uh, but Miscellaneousaurus is really good, and then you can get a 4k, um, Tyranno Infinity out on the field with it. Three copies of Petite Tyrannodon. Now, I don't get why people play two of these, because these can summon out your, um, your Soul Eating Oviraptor, as well as your, um, your Dino Wrestler Pankertops, which I play one of in the deck. Um, there aren't a lot of good options other than these two, um, and then your, uh, Panker Tops, but this card is really good, and it can get you access to your Oviraptor turn one, and that's why I play three of it. It's really good, and personally, I think you should play max of your babies. Um, three copies of Baby Sarasaurus. Baby Sarasaurus is your go-to play starter. You want to have this as three of definitely because your Dragonic Diagram with Baby Sarasaurus you can go into your VFD and you got two searchers for Baby Sar or not Baby Sarasaurus, uh, for your um, uh, your Dragonic Diagram so it's really easy to go into this play plus um, you can search it out with a Fossil Dig and Oviraptor, so this card is really good. But you need babies in your hand to start your plays, and that's why I play max copies of it. Now getting into the terrible proxies slash two ofs, two copies of Jirak Dino. This card is really good. Um, so most people play Jirak Aolo. But that's a $30 card for a single copy. This is a dollar for three copies. This card, basically what it can do is, um, if it's on the field during your end phase, you can destroy itself and draw two cards. It's amazing and way better than Jirak Aolo. Only reason people play Aolo is because it's a level one tuner. But I'll show you the combo later that can get you to your VFD without relying on Drac Aolo. So, yeah. Two copies of that. It's basically the same play, but you just go into different monsters once you destroy it with your True King. Uh, two copies of True King Agnimiza the Vanisher. Um, this card I play two of because you run um, your Drac Dino and your Miscellaneousaurus, so it's actually easy to proc its effect and to summon it out. So this card is actually pretty good. 
Um, you want to play two copies of that, then one copy of your litho lithogasm or litho gym. Litho gym. Yeah, we're going to call him Jim. Um, uh, so basically, this card is your definite play starter. You ne you really want don't want to see this in your starting hand, but you want to be able to search it with your um your dragonic diagram. And all in all this card is your best combo piece. And um um it's earth, but the problem is it's limited. I understand why it's limited, but um I wish they had semi limited it cuz it's really good for your plays with dragonic diagram and you want to be able to do it turn 2. So two cop or one copy of that because you can only play one copy. One copy of Dino Wrestler Panker Tops. This is your target for um Petite Terranonodon and this card um it's also just a one time like negate which isn't bad so it can uh, destroy itself, and then, uh, you can go into your plays from there. So, that card is really good. Um, and then, f rounding off the monsters, I play one copy of Tyranno Infinity for your play with Miscellaneous Source. You never want to see this card. You summon it from your deck with Miscellaneous Source, and that's it. You never want to see this card in your opening hand. So, yeah, that is it for the monsters, other than your, um, triple drac egg tokens, but screw those. Um, for your Dragonic Diagram, you play one set rotation, one terraforming, and one diagram. I know the proxy is terrible. It's only a $7 card. A lot of people say that this version of the deck is so expensive, but it doesn't need to be expensive if you don't want it to be, because uh, this is like the most expensive card in the deck, and it's only 7 bucks. It's cheaper than your um, your triple copies of Ash Blossom, a single copy of Ash Blossom is more expensive than this. So basically what you can do is you can, uh, just buy one copy of this and then buy, uh, two copies of your Cold by the Grave and you'll need Cold by the Grave in this deck, but I'll go over that when I get to it. Um, so yeah, basically playing three copies of Dragonic Diagram, even though Dra Diagram is limited. All those cards in that hand there was limited, so it's kind of sad, but they really wanted to nerf this deck. Three copies of Lost World. You want to see this if you don't have any way of getting to your, um, your Dragonic Diagram, because this can go into good plays with your Drac Egg Tokens. So, yeah, you want to play three copies of this. It's not exactly mandatory, but you can find other cards to replace it, too. Not other field spells, but other good cards. Some people might play one or two of them, just so that you can use set rotation right. But, um, it, all in all, it's just an okay card um, that you want to play in this deck. Um, triple copies of Fossil Dig. This can get you to your OV Raptor, and it can start your plays off with your Baby Ceresaurus. So, yeah, this card is a great searcher for the deck, and I really like it. This card can really get your plays started, too. Two copies of Pot of Desires. I would play Extravagance, but this deck, um, it's not exactly, um, or it's not exactly a full budget version. This is your, your budget version. Not exactly, just ignore that. It, it's your budget version, so you play Desires instead of that. You can play Pot of, um, what's it, what's its face, uh, Pot of Avarice, but, um, it, I just like Pot of Desires best because you can use it to start off your plays. Although it is a huge risk. You could do it afterwards and be safe. But I'd suggest being careful with your Pot of Desires. Two copies of Called by the Grave because you want to protect your plays. Even if your Miscellaneous Saurus uh, doesn't work with your True King monsters. You can have Called by the Grave to protect them. So yeah, two Called by the Grave... You might want to play three, but again, budget. One Twin Twisters. You might want to play two of these and take out, like, something else, but I think it's called for. One copy of Monster Reborn, because it's a Monster Reborn, and Monster Reborn is good in any deck. And that's it for the spells. We play two Traps, uh, two Quaking Mirror Force, because of the synergy with, um, um, time... 
um, Ultimate Conductor Tyranno, but you want to, you might even want to play three of these, but they can be taken in and out for side deck options if you wanted to. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for the main deck. We're moving on to the extra deck. Um, for the extra deck, of course, we're playing triple copies of True King of All Calamities. I'll throw it up right now on the screen. Yeah, True King of All Calamities is basically like a one-turn win. It locks your opponent out of basically playing the game depending on what deck they're playing. If they're playing like Water deck or if they're playing Adamanta Potatoes, um, it locks them out. Then we're playing uh, one copy of Trishula, the Dragon of the Ice Barrier. This card's pretty good. Um, you want to make this first turn, and I'll show you the combo, um, that you want to do to be able to get into your, um, your True King of All Calamities with your Baby Sarasaurus and your, um, your Gunnick Diagram. But, yeah, one of these, and then we play two copies of, uh, Cloud Castle, which I'll throw up right now. Uh, this is a good turn two play. What you can do is, um... It, let's say you're you're in a ditch, okay? Your true king of all calamities got destroyed by card effects, and now you're just kind of stuck. So what you want to do is you want to summon out your uh, ca cloud castle, and um, it allows you to special summon one of your true king monsters. And that's the reason we're playing two copies of true king of all calamities, because you can easily go into a second copy of it without using up too much resources. So this is your generic dino play with one Dragonic Diagram and your Baby Ceresaurus. So this is an easy VFD with the, uh, these two cards. I'll show you the combo now. So what you're going to gonna want to do is activate your Dragonic Diagram. You summon, or you destroy your Baby Ceresaurus in your hand. You get to search out from your deck your True King Lithosagrim, and effect of Baby Sarasaurus, you get to special summon a soul-eating Oviraptor from your deck. Then Oviraptor's effect will activate, allowing you to search another Baby Sarasaurus. You're going to want to normal summon your Baby Sarasaurus, then use the effect of Oviraptor targeting your Baby Sarasaurus to destroy it, and then special summon the Baby Sarasaurus from your grave. Then... Um, the effect of your baby Sarasaurus that was destroyed, you can special summon your final baby Sarasaurus to your side of the field. Now, you're going to want to use the effect of Lithosagrim to destroy your two babies. Wow. This, this, this video has a lot of destroying babies in it. Um, to special summon your Lithosagrim, and then effect of both your babies you can special summon from your deck a Petite Pteranodon, and your Dirac Dino. And then affect a Lithosagrim first when it's summoned. You'll be able to look at your opponent's extra deck and then banish three monsters from it. And that is really good because you'll know what they're playing. Like if they're playing their, um, um, their Dragma, you can get rid of their combo pieces in uh El or in Shadal Winda or their um whatchamacallit or you could just get a rid of their healthy fibrax which will really limit their plays. Um so you have these on the field in defense mode because you want to be safe from lightning storm. So then you're gonna use these three to synchro summon into your Trishua. Then you can snipe a card out of their hand, then you overlay these two for your true king of all calamities. Now that's an easy play. You're going to have a lot of resources in your hand after this. Plus you're going to have your diagram still on the field for next turn play if your VFD gets destroyed. So like one turn I ended up with your, my true king of all calamities. An ultimate conductor Tyranno. Um, one um, Dino Wrestler Pankertops. One Quaking Mirror Force set and... Yeah, one uh, Tyranno Infinity with the 4,000 attack. And at the end of this, you're going to have all these monsters in the grave that you can banish for um, your miscellaneous source play if you have it in your hand. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for the deck profile. Please like, subscribe, share, comment. Let me know what you thought of the video. Do you think there's some tweaks that I could make? 
that would stay within a good budget? And do you think this deck was budget friendly enough? Tell me in the comments what you thought and I will see you in the next Yu-Gi-Oh video. Peace.